Filey's town crier was one of hundreds of people who braved the bitterly cold seaside weather to see Harry, Paul and Amy set off on Saturday morning. Well, I'll tell you what, we've got this wind behind us, it's fantastic. <laughs> At first, it was a pleasant stroll along the seafront before a climb uphill into town. But what started as fun was soon to become a battle against the elements. Well, we've now got a hailstorm and it, it's absolutely, oh. it's killing on the side of our faces. It's just like, it's that <laughs> ridiculous. Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing here, but I'll tell you this, this is a challenge and a half. It really is. Snow, hail and icy cold howling winds that chilled to the bone made pulling the sofa a gruelling, painful task. But things were to get even worse as the team, now joined by Keeley, approached Scarborough. They had to get reinforcements to cling on to the sofa. 60 mile an hour winds were battering the east coast. One gust took Harry's hat straight off his head. We've got the team behind holding down the sofa so it doesn't blow off. Where are you going? Uh, no, I, can't, I can't open my eyes. As they arrived in Scarborough, welcomed by a large, enthusiastic crowd, things were already looking dodgy for Sunday. Back in West Yorkshire, the team woke up to snow, and it was very quickly clear Day 4's challenge from Bradford to Haworth would need to be postponed. The last thing my conscience would have allowed is to ask people to come out and support us. Somebody falls and ends up in hospital. We can't allow that. Well, after the huge disappointment of the sofa tour having to be cancelled because of the weather yesterday, there's much excitement for today. We're starting off in Pontefract. Thanks for coming. Thank you. I feel like I'm doing all the work here. First day of sunshine, day five. And we are enjoying it while it lasts. Sofa, sofa. There was an enthusiastic welcome in Featherston. How are we doing? School children were allowed out of lessons and the sofa weaved in and out of the shoppers. But no one was expecting <laughs> Donald Trump to turn up. I'm really excited. I just want to see Paul Hudson. I can't wait. <laughs> well, they're doing well to say that they're walking so far through Yorkshire. Heading for Nostal Priory proved a bit tricky. Not snow holding them up this time, but mud. And when you're stuck in the mud, you need a friendly farmer with a tractor. It was worth the effort. Another large crowd was waiting. And Crofton's not seen anything like this for a long time. Good to see you. All right. Final destination, All Pugney's right. Country Park in Wakefield. Thank you. Day five, done. Oh, thank heavens for that. Ian White, BBC Look North.